right, so it's, uh, uh, we are now, uh, overall weight loss is 180 pounds, and uh, my Fit Fight journey, uh, 160 pounds. I'm so excited. I worked really, really hard for this one. I was a little worried it wasn't going to stay because I hit it yesterday, but I worked really hard and it's still at 200.6 this morning, so two ounces less. <laughs> And that's pretty good because yesterday was leg day and I know my muscles are swollen and still, you know, torn up from leg day yesterday. But we are going to Lockhart's day. Just to go hang out with the family and do stuff. So I'm going to try to do a little vlog and get this in and yeah, this passed 10 pounds. I think I see this every... I guess since the last three months, it's, it's it's getting hard. It's getting really hard. I'm having to work my bute off. I may actually look into reverse dieting for a little, a little bit, just so I can get my caloric, uh, I guess my calorie number up a little bit more to where my maintenance is, because I've been at a deficit for so long, and I'm at a healthy deficit, but still, I think my body's just kind of staying there right now. So I'm going to try it out and see how that goes. Uh, Got to do a little bit more research on it till I feel comfortable enough to do it myself. So I'll let y'all know how that starts going. I am going to start posting more videos uh, here soon because we're getting into our rhythm with school and everything. So I'm going to get to see more of this and that. That's you. So we're potty training right now. That's really fun. Um, but yeah, so y'all are going to get to come along with me today and see what I'm eating. I can't have steak today, so I'm going to be having some portobello mushrooms with steak seasoning. So, bala bala. We're here at Game I am doing portobello mushrooms, so I just put olive oil spray, and then I use fajita seasoning, and then... Um, just pepper on top. That's what I'm gonna eat, guys. <laughs> <laughs> My little family. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Dad's first time grilling one. The bottom one's my favorite. Yeah, portobello mushroom. Looks like a steak. And then we got ribeyes. All that good stuff. Yeah, that part right there. That'll work for me. I can't have the ribeye. Judy wants the ribeye, right? Good food. Uh oh, RG. Uh-oh. And this is where I'm spending most of my day. I think we're all taking a nap. We're in food comas. Uh, that mushroom was delicious though. Oh dear lord, my skin looks horrible in this lane. Eh. But yeah, it was really good. Portobello mushrooms grilled with steak seasoning. Delicious. This is happening. I don't know. We don't know yet. Uh. They're gonna do a sobriety test probably first before they determine that. <laughs> Guys, well that was my weekend. Um, had a little bit of uh, some cheat calories in there on yesterday, which is fine. Um, I was drinking vodka and water last night, so I didn't wake up with a hangover, which is nice. <laughs> I was just out hanging out with the girls and had some fun after a really horrible weekend last weekend. We are still praying for Port Aransas area and Houston 
and luckily we weren't hit with anything but just a couple storms. But, uh, so kind of back to you, I'm going to have to start changing something up. I'm going to have to look into reverse dieting, like I said, or, um, just changing something because my workouts are where they need to be. My calories need to be increased a little bit more. I need to start getting to a point where I'm going to be maintaining and uh, building muscle, not so much at a deficit where I'm going to need to be losing. So right now in these last 20 pounds that I've got to my ultimate goal and to be happy and fit, and then is when I'm going to really work on shaping my body. So filling out my legs and filling, you know, as much as I can with my arms, I'm not going to make a big deal about it. Um, <clears throat> Cause I definitely want to do all that before I even consider maybe having my loose skin removed. I want to see what I can do for it without surgery. Anyways, so I've got to figure that out and what I'm going to do there. <laughs> The arch is running around. Sorry, we're potty training, so we have him in his little pull-up. But, uh, mm, there was something that I was supposed to say, and I just forgot now. Goodness. <clears throat> so, I have 20 more pounds, so I need to start getting my body ready. Start getting myself ready to start maintaining and not losing anymore. And if I do lose inches, that's great. But really, I don't want to weigh less than 180, 160 max. I don't want to weigh less, less than that. Um, just because I want a strong figure and uh, I'm not in this to be skinny. I'm not in it to, you know, be this tiny little thing. Um, I'm in it to feel good about myself and to feel strong and powerful for myself and my children and uh, be able to run around with them and, and do that. I know I see this all the time. It's so annoying, right? But those are my reasons. That's why. Um, so I'm glad y'all followed along with me. It's been a hard six weeks getting the you know these last 10 pounds off. It's just getting a little bit harder, and that's fine. I've just got to, I'm battling with myself. You know, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Uh, there are days where I just, I want to break down and cry because I feel like I don't have the strength, you know, to just keep fighting with it. Working out isn't the issue. It's the eating, guys. It's, I was an avid binge eater. There are still days where I just want to binge and binge and binge, but I don't anymore. My binging is like having four servings of a small portion. That's like binging to me now. I'm like, oh my goodness, that was so much. Which is great in the long run because I've come down from having four or five bags of chips or, you know, a large bucket of popcorn down to, you know, smaller portions and just having a few of those. I, I don't, I don't want to say guilt helps, but it's, it's not so much guilt as it is. I worked so hard. Why are you doing this to yourself? You know, nobody else is doing it. You know, everybody else may be eating it around me or having those foods that they can have. But I'm the one that ultimately makes that decision whether I'm going to eat it or not. So I'm the one who holds my weight in my hands. And some days I want to choke myself because I'm like, was it even worth it right before bed? Seriously. <laughs> uh, but sometimes it is worth it. Sometimes it is. <laughs> Not gonna lie, but sometimes in the morning. I'm just like that was not worth it I could have been half a pound closer to my goal But you're gonna have days like that, you know, and you're gonna have days that are like whoa How did I even lose weight? I was you know so close to my maintenance, you know caloric intake how how did I lose so it just, your body fluctuates and, you know, they say every pound counts or every pound counts, every pound counts. Oh my goodness. What is wrong? I'm tired. I'm tired and slightly dehydrated. I've been trying to hydrate all day today. We had a lot of vodka waters last night. Goodness. 
No headache though, so that's good. Um, but anyways, so that was kind of my month and this is kind of what's coming, what I'm coming into. So I hope y'all are still following along. I hope you're still on your journey or thinking about getting on it. Um, if y'all ever have any questions, ask. I'm here to help. This is what I'm here for. So I hope y'all have a great week and I will be having more videos and more content and kind of things that I've researched and that actually work for me and that don't work for me. So I'll be coming out with those here soon. So I'll probably try to do like two to three videos a month now. So getting back on it, you know, kids are back in school, getting on this potty train, training, you know, things. So we're there. We're there. Let's start going on these YouTube videos again. So thanks guys for watching and continuing to support and, you know, hopefully I'm in encouraging y'all to you know get on your own journey or continue you know on your own and so y'all have a great week love y'all check y'all later